has ever done the double. It could be four. It is. Hello, Cardiff. The last Cardiff game I saw was interesting. Yes, today is a massive game, and here's why. Cardiff City versus Swansea City, the South Wales Derby. One of the fiercest rivalries in the entire English footballing pyramid is a fixture that dates all the way back to 1912, with the clubs having met 113 times, Cardiff winning 47 of them and Swansea winning 38. I know there's going to be some people about to comment saying, the English footballing pyramid, they're from Wales. The English footballing pyramid is so much better for having these two clubs in it. Move on, build a bridge, get over it. I've seen Cardiff once before and I've seen Swansea twice before and both sets of fans were incredible when I saw them. So I guarantee the atmosphere inside there today is going to be incredible. Even if it didn't sell out, for some reason it didn't instantly sell out for the, for the derby, um, hence why we managed to get tickets. I am a bit sceptical about that. This is a game where league positions don't matter which is a good thing because um, when it comes to the league, it is a bit of a dead rubber. But whatever happens inside there is going to be incredibly fierce. Let's have a look around the Cardiff City Stadium. You might be wondering, Ellis, there's usually a sponsor here. Not anymore. Let's go. Let's have a look around. I'm going to get the really bad, obvious joke out of the way early on. Don't say I ever don't take you out of England. Very funny. Ah, <laughs> oh, class. Jody's taking the mick out of my coat. <laughs> it's, it's, food. <laughs> it's clearly curry sauce, isn't it? Like it's yeah, clearly curry sauce. Clearly. I can't find my one I've worn every other game this season. All right, Jody, my own girlfriend. Why are you meeting the shoes as well? I, I looked at someone's shoes and said, oh, I'd love to swap with him. She goes, I don't think he'd swap with you. What's the point? Lose the sponsor of four years. Your girlfriend of five years takes the, the out of your shoes and your coat. What is the point? Why is the point in any of it? A fun fact about this fixture is no team has ever done the league double over the other one. Swansea won the first fixture 3-0. Cardiff need to win today to stop Swansea making history. It's very interesting. That's nice. You never really get football facts in this channel, but you just got one. Also, we've just done a loop of the stadium. It's, it's, a, it's a textbook modern stadium, really. I think there's not much to see, although the last, the best video we've done this season was Bristol City against Cardiff. And I didn't think Ashton Gate was much to look at from the outside, but I love the inside. So let's mingle in, wait for Swansea fans to get close, watch them arrive, and then we'll get inside. I'm coming at 2,000 likes in this video as well. Could do with the support now. This is, videos need to <laughs> make money somehow. Hello. We're now inside the Cardiff City Stadium and as you can see overlaid on screen and as I mentioned outside the ground, this is much bigger and better than I thought it would be inside. I don't know why I thought it would be just a standard soulless bowl, but inside, we're really high. Like just the one sec to give you another depth perspective. We're here, it's there. Like we've got a view of everything. It's very nice. Also, I would say we got a bargain. We managed to get two waters and a packet of crisps for £3.90. Which is obviously not a bargain, but the, two, the waters are 2 30 each, so they've only charged us for one of the waters. So, well done, Cardiff City, when you've not got £2.30 in your transfer budget next season, you know who to blame. Uh, Swansea fans are down there. It's a good job, really, that they're not near you because you'd have caused all kinds of trouble, wouldn't you? As you sit there, what are you eating? Jurassic jellies. You couldn't have timed that any better.
the video shows how good the atmosphere is in here. It's very, very tense. The atmosphere is very loud. And we've not even kicked off yet. This is going to be so, so good. A nice one. <laughs> I'll be completely honest while I'm recording this, someone has just dropped an absolute clanger and it stinks of egg over here. But it is kicking off. All the people that's pushing again. This is what derbies are all about, this is class. Very novice question for the comment section here. Why is it that Cardiff fans call Swansea fans you Jack Bastards? The Swansea fans call themselves Jack Bastards. You know, is it an endearment? Oh, it's clearly not an endearment. You know what I mean? Where's that come from? Half time Cardiff nil, Swansea won. First thing I need to address before I've said that, you may have heard in the first half I said there's a Swansea fan next to us. How's that happened? People might be saying, Ellis, you got tickets, what are you on about? How do you know it's a Swansea fan? When I've said, how has that happened? He has stood there in a white Swansea shirt. That's not me over-dramatising or anything. And when I've said, how has that happened? How have stewards let him in? How has he just stood there? Like it, For so many reasons, that's mental. But that's what I mean by saying that. In regards to the game and the atmosphere, the Swansea fans have been incredible let's be honest obviously they're winning one up in their derby they're going to be amazing but the limbs were fantastic they were doing the swim away thing all half um obviously the goal has knocked the stuffing out of cardiff fans but there's been a few amazing the atmosphere is great it's a derby hopefully more things happen in the second half and where that first half may have gone by quite quick and to be completely transparent we're sat next to a swansea fan who it's became quite apparent to us because we're sat next to him has learning difficulties but that isn't apparent from afar and we're worried that a Cardiff fan is going to catch wind. We don't know what to do. What do we, why, why are we of all people in this situation? It's very weird. We've told every fan around us about it, but people are beginning to clock it. So it's, we're trying to watch the football. We're trying to make sure a mass brawl doesn't start out around us. But a very interesting half of football. Let's go out and see the second half and hopefully we can focus more and there'll be some carnage. See you then. Second half then. Should be carnage. Could be carnage. It might be carnage. Come on, boys. Get out! Uh, oh no.
20 to go. Cardiff do not look like scoring at all. And you can tell, because the fans are not happy. You may see the mass exodus here. It is Swansea 3, Cardiff 0. The Swansea players running over to the fans to celebrate. The fans are flooding out. It's all kicking off again. The one remaining fan that's left in here with us is fuming about it. Someone's holding up a sign in the Swansea end saying 110 years, one double, Swansea City FC, because it's the first time anyone's ever done the double. It could be four, it is. When I did the pan around in the stadium earlier on and I said about this is the Cardiff City Stadium, there was probably about this many fans in the seats. That was an hour before kickoff. It is the 86th minute and it is like a ghost. Understandably, by the way, if you're a Cardiff fan watching this, I completely understand why you've left. This has been unacceptable. This is crazy. Like, unbelievable how this has gone. I really need to emphasize this. Like, what is going on? There is, this is, Although, what am I expecting them to do? They're not going to stay, are they? It's more just how humiliating this has been. And look at this one's the end. Full time Cardiff City nil, Swansea City 4. Not really sure what we've just witnessed there. I know it's definitely history. For the first time in 110 years of this fixture, Swansea become the first side to ever do the league double. I've witnessed a fan be kicked out next to us for supporting. I've never seen that before. How on earth has that ever happened? Um, I enjoyed it. It was a really weird one. I've never seen a derby so one sided. It was 7 0 over two games. Very weird one. Coming at 2,000 likes on this. I also just want to say, next season, I think Swansea are going to go up. The way they're playing, the football Russell Martin plays will be implemented better for next season. And they look really good. I know they're very inconsistent this season, hence why they are where they are. But next season, I think they're going to go up. Coming at 2,000 likes in this video. If you're new around here, be sure to subscribe for more away days and more football shirt content. Really weird one this week. Ciao, ciao. Bye.